Minions are spawning. Do you want to be the center of attention? Do you want to compete with the carry on who's going to get the most kills? Well, look no further. This video is just for you. So sit down, grab a snack, and listen up. I'm Keo, a veteran Paragon player and content creator for Predecessor. I'm here to cover what makes a good mid laner versus a bad one. The mid laner is a tough role to get into as you are the center of the world. No, literally, you are located at the center of the map. This means you will see the most ganks, rotations, and team fights. Be prepared. First, this video will teach you the role of mid laner, not hero specific. Future videos will cover that. If you like the video or learn something new, leave a like and subscribe, and drop a comment for any helpful tips you think should have been included in this video. Let's begin. The beginning of the match is important, the laning phase. Beginning of the match, minions spawn and rush down each lane and eventually meeting in the middle. We call this crashing. Your job as a lane hero is to farm the enemy minions to increase your gold and experience count. Each minion type produces a different amount of gold and XP, and a different amount of gold if you last hit the minion. To last hit a minion, wait until their health bar is low and turns red. This indicates the next attack will execute the minion, and in doing so, will reward the player with bonus gold. Obtaining bonus gold is crucial as it allows you to buy items faster in the shop and gets the lead on the opponents. Mid laners are normally magic casters or ranged magic users. Keep this in mind when choosing what character to play. Beginner mid laners are in the description of this video. Great, you've been farming for a bit. But what else are you supposed to be doing? Well, first thing besides farming is warding the map. I've marked key locations in the mid lane to be warded periodically. Vision of the map is crucial to this game, and you should be using your wards all the time. Warding allows you and your team to see locations of enemies hidden in the jungle or invisible depending on the character. I cannot stress this enough. Always ward. Next, let's talk about river buffs. River buffs spawn in at 3 minutes on the left and right side of the middle lane, located here. After the initial 3 minute spawn, they respawn every 2 minutes. Note that I mean every 2 minute mark, not 2 minutes after kill. So if you time it right, and you kill a buff at 4 minutes and 59 seconds, the next buff will spawn a second later. The color of the buff dictates which buff it provides. Want to learn more about river buffs? Check out my full guide here. The noteworthy thing here is that river buffs return mana back to the killer. So try to take these as much as possible so you can stay in lane longer. Be wary though, a current common tactic is the enemy jungler to go for the river buff while the enemy mid laner goes for the other, leaving you with nothing. Once again, ward. So while in mid lane, you get the most attention. You being the center point of the map, you get the most traffic. If off lane wants to travel to duo lane, they have to pass through mid. And if duo lane wants to get to off lane, guess what? They have to pass through mid. The majority of team fights happen here in mid lane. Stay aware of the map and enemy location so you don't get caught too pushed with no safety net. Okay, now the main role of mid laner. You are the rotator of the team. You're in the best position to travel either left or right to assist your allies in a fight. This is a hard mechanic to learn because if you rotate too early, it leaves your lane unguarded. But if you rotate too late, your allies are already dead. The best time to start making rotations is when you're level 6 or higher, and your minion wave is pushed to the enemy tower. Try rotating also when the enemy tier 1 tower is destroyed, when the enemy mid laner is dead, based, or not in lane, or rotate behind the enemy mid laner when they are rotating. 
Once you're in another lane, only stay in that lane for long enough to secure a kill or force the enemy to retreat. Don't stay in another lane for too long. The longer you do, the more experience you are stealing from that player and the more your lane is unguarded. Return back to your lane or base and reset your tempo. Oh, and don't forget to ward. Lastly, objectives. Besides river buffs, the other two objectives you'll assist with are Fangtooth and Orb Prime. When your team is trying to take either of those objectives, rotate and help secure them. But be careful. It's not always a good idea to rotate to the objective when you have enemies following you. Try to lure them away. I hope this video helps you jump in and do better as your team's mid laner. Knowledge is key to MOBAs, and the more you know, the better off you and your team will be. Take it slow, remember the fundamentals, be patient, and ward the map. Good luck, and see you on the battlefield.